Mahjong is a four-player Chinese tile game. In America, we made it our own by adding something called the Charleston. The Charleston is kind of a pass the trash, but you got to remember one man's trash is another man's treasure. We pass up to seven times, right across left, left across right, and then there's an optional cross. When you have four players, that's how it's done. When you have three players though, the National Mahjong League says to omit the Charleston and go right into the pick and discard phase of the game. Some groups though like to play the Charleston, so they include it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. When you play Mahjong with three players, you build the walls as normal. When you deal the tiles, you skip the missing player. I'm gonna roll the dice, break the wall, and deal the tiles, and then I'll show you how to set up the Charleston passes for that missing player. Everybody has their tiles and we picked our first pass. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up the Charleston passes from the missing player. You just take tiles from the wall that you're gonna be drawing from and you create their passes. Three tiles, six rows. So there's the Charleston passes, right across left, left across right. This is the inbound column, the tiles that are going into our hands. So I don't have a player to pass to, so I'm going to put my outbound tiles in a new column. This is going to be the outbound column. So it'll be next to and differentiated by putting it a little closer to their wall so that we know which is the inbound and which is the outbound. So these are the tiles that will be going into our hands. These are the tiles that will be going out of our hands. So I'm going to take the passes for these two players and I'll pick my next pass. For this player, they're gonna take the first row of tiles for their pass. So now they have tiles. They got a joker. You need to ask your group if you're allowed to keep jokers in the Charleston when you're playing three, three player because some will allow you to keep the jokers, some will not. In this case, we're gonna have an exchange so I can show you how to do it. If you get a joker and a pass, take a random tile out of the wall and just stick it in there. That way you're not accepting jokers. Again, some groups allow it. So now they have a pass. So let's find another pass. So we have a cross pass here now. We're gonna go across now. So these two players pass normally. And then these two players will, this player will put their outbound tiles in the outbound column and they'll take the next row of tiles for their pass. So now we're going to do first left. We went right across and now we're gonna do first left. So they're gonna take their tiles that would normally come to this player, but they're gonna put them in the outbound column over here. This player is gonna pass to the left and they're gonna take the next tiles out of the inbound column. So that was first left, now we're gonna do second left. 
Now, if someone stops the Charleston, you just take these tiles and build it into the wall for picking and discarding. The optional cross for this player will come from these tiles that have already been passed in the Charleston. So those will get mixed up and they would do an optional cross with those tiles. These get built back into the wall. Here, we're gonna go ahead and continue. So we're gonna do a second left. So this player will pass to the outbound column. Second left, you could do that. Second left, and then I'm gonna take my second left here. And now we'll go across. This player got their pass. I forgot to put their pass in there. So they're gonna pass across. So now we're gonna do last right. So I'm gonna take my last right and put it in the outbound column. So this column gets depleted and this column grows. Last right, last right. And they get these last tiles from the missing player. No joker. Then we do optional cross. I don't want any, so we're not gonna do an optional cross. This player, let's say wants two. So they'll put two in the middle and take all these tiles, mix them up, because otherwise they might remember which one of these is their pass and they could manipulate the tiles that way in their mind and get what they want, maybe. So if you mix them up, it just makes it a little more random. So give them a mix and then they would get however many they wanted to exchange up to three. In this case, two. And they would just put those in their hand. And then you take these tiles and build the wall. So these are all the tiles that were in the Charleston. For our group, we like to make a tail on it so that we know the Charleston tiles. And when we start picking here, where it's a normally turned tile, that we know is a fresh tile. So that's one way to set up the Charleston using the column method. Some think that this next option is a little more realistic. For one thing, you're never gonna get a joker because the passes are gonna be from ourselves. No, no tiles from the wall except for the first pass. What happens is the player to the right of the missing player takes three random tiles from their wall. Let me just make sure there's no jokers. No jokers. So three random tiles from the missing player's wall. That becomes their first right. I'm gonna pass my first right to the missing player. I'm gonna put it in front of their wall. This player will pass to me. This player passes first right. So this player gets those random tiles from the wall. I'm gonna take these, put them in my rack, and this is my right from the player to my left. So everyone has their tiles. Now we're gonna go across. So I'm gonna take three, go across, three, across, For this player, we're gonna pass three across, and they're gonna take the one that was placed a moment ago by this player. And they're gonna put theirs in front of the wall. We went right across. Now we're gonna do first left. I'm gonna take these that were just the cross pass here. This player is going to pass theirs to that player and put them in front of the rack. 
and they'll get their first left. Now we're going to do second left. Let's say someone stops the Charleston right here. These two players would pass normally, and this player would optional cross with these tiles. We're not going to do that, though. We're going to keep going. So we're going to do second left. I take these. These go over here in front of the missing player. Now we're going to do a cross. This player puts their pass in front of the wall and takes the other one that was just placed there by the other player. And now we're going to do last right. They get the tiles previously placed by the other player. That was last right. Now we're going to do optional cross. We're not going to pass. This player can pass maybe, let's say, two. So they're going to put two out here and take two from the pass that's in front of the missing player's wall. And then we take these three and fill the gaps. It can be a little tricky if you don't keep these tiles lined up correctly. So it can get a little messy. So just be careful. But that's one way to do a little bit more of a realistic Charleston. Let me know if you have other options for playing with the Charleston with three players. Remember though, the National Mahjong League says to omit it. So if you're playing with purists, expect to omit the Charleston. If you're playing with radicals, go ahead and play the Charleston to your heart's content. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the little gray bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next variations video, may all your picks be keepers.